The following presentation is brought to you by Discovery Education, leading the world of digital and video learning. Discovery Education, connect to a world of learning. If you like helping animals and solving problems too, come and be mathematical and join the number crew. Join Fizz and Flo and Bradley and Ted and Mirabelle. And there's Baby Bunting who likes to help as well. So come and be mathematical and join the number crew. All aboard when you hear us call the number crew. Lots to be done before then, though. Those mince pies look good, Dad. All the more worth waiting for, then. Couldn't we just try one? Between us? Oh, all right. There you go. Yes! Um, oh, after you? No, after you. Oh, what's the problem now? Well? What is the problem now? If you had first pick of this mince pie, which piece would you choose? Well, yeah, the smaller bit, obviously, because you're polite like that, aren't you? Anyway, it would make it a lot easier if the two pieces were the same size. Ted meant to cut it in half, but did he? No, he didn't. If you cut something in half, you should end up with two equal pieces, exactly the same size, like this. There you go. Cut exactly in half. Thanks, Dad. What about them, Dad? Mm. Well, you didn't want them, did you? Mm. Mm. Want what? We're trying Dad's mince pies. Can I have one? Not a whole one. Well, I haven't got anyone to share it with, have I? <laughs> Me. Me! Right. One pie. Slice it. Share it between two. As ever, I think Ted knows what he's up to. And if you've ever wondered why a half is written like it is, well, it's one thing. Slice it and share it between two. There you go. That's a half, which is a one, a slice and a two. And, as you might already know, something written like this with one number on top of another is called a fraction. Get your teeth into fractions. Get a bit of the action Try a slice of something nice And eat a fraction A half is something sliced in two That's half for me and half for you And when you cut a thing in half You end up with two equal parts To write a half, here's what you do It's a one and a slice all over two! Now, here's something else you might like to try. Can we have half each? But there's four of you. I don't think we're talking about halves now. Right again, Ted. If you're going to cut something up into four equal pieces, you don't end up with halves. Oh no, you end up with a different fraction. You end up with quarters. And how do you write a quarter? Well, it's a bit like the one we've just done. Ted had one cake, which he sliced into how many pieces? Four of them. There you go, that's a quarter, which is one thing, a slice, and a four. Tasty things, these fractions. Get your teeth into fractions, get a bit of the action. Try a slice of something nice, and eat a fraction. A quarter's something sliced in four No one gets less and no one gets more Yes, when four people have to share They get the same, it's only fair To write a quarter's not a chore It's a one and a slice All over four Who wants to help me put these on the Christmas tree? Oh, they're lovely Take half each. Oh, we can't do that. Why not? Well, it, 
if we cut them in half, well, they'll break. Dear, I think Bradley's taking it a bit too seriously. You don't have to slice each decoration in half. You sort of slice the whole group in half. Divide the group in two. There you go. A different sort of fraction there. A group of six decorations divided in half. Half each for Bradley and Flo. See, Bradley? Nothing's broken. And we've got half each. Any more decorations, Mum? Oh, yes. These are chocolates to hang on the tree. I'll help. Me too. Can I? E Me! How are we going to divide these chocolates equally between you four? Oh, easy stuff. There's eight chocolate decorations, and we're going to divide them between four people. So, let's do our slicing to find out what a quarter of eight is. All right, I have to do a bit more slicing this time. So, there you go. Eight chocolates divided into quarters. It's two each. Get your teeth into fractions. Get a bit of the action. Try a slice of something nice and eat a fraction. If you're sharing things in two, that's half for me and half for you. And when four people have to share, they get the same. It's only fair. The parts must be of equal size. Cause fractions always equalize. Roll up, roll up, roll up. OK, you getting a grip on fractions now? Well, have a look at these fractions. Do you know if they are halves or quarters? Is the red bit a half or a quarter? It's a half. Is the red bit a half or a quarter? It's half again. How about this red fraction? Half or quarter? Half again. What about this? A quarter. And this one? A quarter. And what fraction is this? It's a quarter again! What's this fraction? A half. And one last fraction. A half again! OK, so, you getting these fractions sorted now? Well, you could try and find some other fractions for yourself. For instance, could you draw a line that divides your table in half? Is there more than one way you could draw the line? Or how about the number group? How many is half of the number group? And if the number crew are in the galley making the food, then who's steering the ship? <gasps> Crew. All aboard when you hear us call the number crew needs you.